we are looking at, sorry, this is scrolled way down, um, the quotient rule. And we're going to talk about how this works. So we're just going to look at this first one real quick. We've got 2 cubed over 2 squared. So that's 2 times 2 times 2 over 2 times 2. And then if you look, we're canceling out what's on the top and the bottom, leaving us with 2 to the first. And just through this, we're just going to figure out what the rule is. So I am going to do this one here. It's going to look a little crazy. Okay, we've got seven threes. One, oop. One, two, oop. Not going to do it. <laughs> I want to, of course. We're just going to move it like, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the bottom, we have one, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to draw this line right here. And then I'm just literally going to repeat that over here, but we're going to cancel out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the bottom, we've got one, two, three, four. And we've got that in there. But we're going to cancel out what's on the top and the bottom. And by canceling out, we're just talking about that three over three gives us one, right? Three divided by three gives us one. So that's a one. That's one, that's one, that's one. And we're left with three to the third, which is our answer, okay? So if we talk about this with X's as well, we have 10 X's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, over four, one, two, three, four. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, over one, two, three, four. And yeah, they're over each other. And then we're just going to um, cancel them out. You know, they divide by one, two, three, four. So we should have left over x to the six. So let's look at what the rule is here. What is going on is we're taking the exponents and subtracting the top from the bottom. Taking the exponents and subtracting the top from the bottom. Top ones from the bottom. Okay, let's see if I can change this. Cannot spell exponents, guys. Um, I'm sure it's in there. X P O N. There we go. So this is the rule. This is what I always use um, to help me. Is I say, okay, x to the m, and we're going to put that over x to the n. And I'll move this so it's easier to see. And again, this has a little line over the top between them. Okay. This is the same thing as, this is the rule, x to the m minus n. Right. So we're just subtracting. So when we look here, we're going to look at a. 5 minus 3 is 2. So we get y squared. And then we can go ahead and look at D, negative 3, 9 over nothing. Remember, there's a little 1 right there. So we get negative 3 parentheses to the 8th. We'll look at one more, E, and we might look at F2. So 2 stays the same. 8 minus 6 is 2. 4 to the 5th over 1 over 4 squared is the same thing as 4 to the 5th over 4 squared. This gives us 4 to the 3rd. Okay, don't let that throw you off that they're separate like that. All right, we're going to do other stuff with quotient rule. We're going to look at the distributive property. So we're just going to look at this first example right here. 2 to the 3rd, 4 times. It just means you have 2 to the 4th over 3 to the 4th. So 2 to the 3rds to the 2 thirds to the 4th is the same as 2 to the 4th over 3 to the 4th. So we're just going to do one real quick. We've got 
2 um, x to the third over 9. We know we have three of these, 2, 3, and we have three nines, which gives us 2 squared, oops, 2 to the third. I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to do it again. So we've got 2 to the third over x, excuse me, x to the third over 9 to the third. And I'm actually going to put the numbers for these because we need to start doing that. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. x to the third, we can't simplify that. And 9 times 9 times 9 is 729. Okay. So what's happening? I'm going to skip all this stuff and we're just going to move to um, the rule. A over B to the nth is just A to the nth over B to the nth. That's it. That's the whole thing. We're going to do like two examples here. Um, A, A over B to the 13th is A to the 13th over B to the 13th. Done. That's it. And then for F. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on. We're actually going to do all the rules. First, we've got the product rule in here. So we're going to change this to m to the fifth because we had to add those together. Over 5m squared to the third. Now we're going to do the next step. m to the fifth over m to the second. We're going to subtract these. And we're going to get m to the third over 5. And then this is to the third. So m to the third to the third, we remember that, that's the power rule. So we've done the product rule to get m to the fifth. We've done um, the quotient rule to get m to the third over fifth. And now we're doing the power rule to get m to the ninth over five times five is 25 times five is 125. And we kind of skipped right here. I want to make sure that, you know, this is the same thing, m to the ninth is the same thing as five to the third, over five to the third power is the same, then we can get this just to make sure you got it. That's the final answer. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and look at negative exponents, All right? Negative exponents are really just telling us what's on the bottom of a fraction. So if we look right here, let me zoom in a bit. We've got two squared over two to the fifth. We've got two on top and two in the bottom that cancel out, they give you that one, and we just have one over two to the third. That's the same thing as two to the negative third. So it's just about like subtraction here, okay? That's all it is. So if we look here with a to the fourth over a to the ninth, you know, we have four a's on top. I don't know, maybe typing this is one, two, three, four. On the bottom we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, let's get this pretty line through it. And we get a, these are one, this is one, a over a is one, a over a is one, a over a is one. We're left with five on the bottom. So we get one over a to the fifth, which could be the same as a to the fourth minus nine gives me a to the negative fifth. Guess what? One over a to the fifth is the same as a to the negative fifth. So some things about this, I'm going to skip right here to this one. 1 over 2 to the negative 3 is the same thing as 2 to the third. So we know a to the negative n is the same thing as 1 over a to the n. They are the same. Okay, so just a few examples here and making sure we kind of understand what's happening x to the 1 over x to the 3rd is 1 over x squared. We can do that by that cancellation method. Or x to the negative 2. Okay? Those are the same things. So, you know, like uh, b right here is 3 to the negative 2. That's the same thing as 1 over 3 squared. Okay? e, 1 over r to the negative 7, is the same as r to the 7th. 
okay? Those negatives, you just flip them over and it gives you what you want. So the sine of an exponent, if you move the top to the bottom, or from the numerator to the denominator, okay? Let's just do one more real quick. One over three to the negative four is, you know, three to the fourth, okay? So if we go two to the third over two to the third, remember, this is like that cancellation thing. These all cancel each other. So you are all back to just one. That's true for any of these. So any number to the zero power is one because we also know that two to the three minus three equals two to the zero. And we know that's gonna equal one. So anything to the zero power is one, right? Like three over three is one, but also five to the zero power is one. All of this raised to the zero power is one. That's what's important about the zero power. It's always going to be one. Okay, so that is it.